it's time to fire this thing up. are better than what I originally had in the Pursuit Project boat. These two seats came out of our 20-foot Bertram Moppy. And originally, the, the original seats on the Pursuit, we covered them over a few years back with Cimbrella fabric. And they were great at the time, but they've really just started to go downhill. And I just think it's time to kind of replace these. If you look, these are torn in the seams, and, and, and I really think we need to update it. Well, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Robiscus. It's great to have you back on the boat. We're really excited this time here at Shipshape TV. We're going to be introducing a little larger pursuit project boat. It has a very special function. We're going to be touching in on the different types of rub rails today for replacement on boats. We're going to get into anodized tubing. We're also going to be doing a factory tour, seeing my new seats for my pursuit getting made. Now today's show is also going to be jam-packed full of tips and information. So guys, if we could, let's all listen up and learn how to better make our boats ship shape. This is a real working 28-acre boat yard slash boat building facility residing in Stewart, Florida. It's Ship Shape TV's home base. Ideally located, the complex is situated on the shores of the Okeechobee Waterway, which happens to connect the Atlantic Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. Now once again, Here's the founder and host of Shipshape TV, John Graviscus. Thanks, Bob. We have brought the 26-foot pursuit into the Shipshape TV boat shop, and this is a real special project boat for the show. It's actually going to be called the Taco Marine Project Boat. It has a very special purpose, and who I would like to introduce you to now is the president of Taco Marine. This is John Kushner. And thank John, you. thank you so much for coming by. My pleasure. And I really thank you for what your idea was for this boat, the vision for this boat. And could you real quick tell everybody what we're going to be doing over the next couple of seasons to this boat and ultimately where is this boat going? Sure, John. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this boat up to basically 2016 boat standards. We're going to revamp this boat from, from bow to stern and you're not going to recognize it by the time we're done. Taco has a number of, of projects that we're going to do based upon our core products, and then we're going to reach out to our um, partners in the industry, basically customers that we have great relationships with that make other accessories that incorporate Taco products, and then lastly, we're going to reach out to our peers in the industry, and they're going to, they're going to also participate in uh, projects that are more unrelated to uh, Taco, but are perfect for the boat. Now, now why, and why would the marine industry, why would we huddle together and get all behind this boat? What, what, what's the function? Well, John, um, what we're gonna do by the time we're, we're done and we, we bring this boat up to 2016 standards is is gonna donate this boat to a charity that near and dear to our hearts. And that charity is gonna provide uh, scholarships to students, uh, contributions to Tourette's Foundation, which is also near and dear to uh, my family's heart. So that's the purpose of, of, of this project. Fantastic. John, your company, Taco, is, is ginormous in the marine industry, and you make a lot of parts for all the boat builders, for end users like me, okay, pleasure boaters. What are the different categories of marine parts that you sure. actually manufacture? Well, there's four primary categories of products that we're really chomping at the bits to get into with this boat. So first of all, we're going to replace the rub rail. Okay, that's this right here. Okay, we're going to replace all of the pipe and tubular structure on the boat. So the hard top's going to come off, uh, the bow rail's going to come off, the windshield's going to come off. Um, we're going to put, we're going to rig this boat for, for fishing. So it's going to take outrigger mounts, poles, there's going to be rod storage that goes into it. We're going to redo all the seating and upholstery in this boat at the taco facility. Let's back up a little bit. Let's get into rub rail. Okay, this is what's called a flexible type of rub rail. It's extruded. What are the different rub rails? So, John, taco provides flexible PVC rub rail, rigid PVC rub rail, aluminum rub rail, and stainless rub rail. 
We're doing something cool. Okay, we're gonna do something for 2016 with the Rub Rail. And, and what's kind of our vision there, John? Well, John, we got a new product that uh, we're introducing right now that is a foam core uh, rigid PVC that will be perfect for this boat. It's about an inch and a half, two inches tall. And uh, we're gonna put a uh, simulated stainless steel insert that will go in it that will prevent any fishing lines from getting caught or snagged on it. Um, and we'll really make this boat, uh, you know, magnificent by the time it's done. I heard something about nav lights. Yes, you did, John. A function of the new rubber rail will be an integrated nav light system. So we're gonna take the nav lights that are on the deck, off the deck, unclutter the deck, and incorporate them uh, right into the rubber rails. It'll be smooth and, and, and sleek. Do you guys remember my 57 foot sport fish? Okay, the Monterey. Well, John's company, Taco, actually extruded all of the anodized aluminum pipe for the tower. And we had Tim Bosch from Bosch American Towers actually fabricate this structure. And it, it just came out absolutely fantastic. But you make all the pipe for, for the T-tops and for the frames that hold up the, the fiberglass hard tops on boats. There, there's a lot of pipe around the boat, including the bow rails. Well, okay. Now this isn't aluminum, this is stainless that's, steel. That's actually stainless steel too, John, and we're going to replace that. We'll either go with an, an, um, an updated stainless tube bow rail or perhaps aluminum as well. When we get into it, we'll figure that out. There's so many projects that we're going to be doing, and there's so many things that this guy makes that you might need for accessorizing the boat or for retrofitting the boat. How do people at home, because you make a million different things, how do people at home actually see what you make and how can they get it for their particular project boat? Sure, John. Uh, it's very simple. TacoMarine.com. We list all the products that we sell. We list our partners that provide them on a regional basis for easy access. Uh, we also, on the site, include uh, you know, selection guides, uh, installation guides, anything to make it make the project simple and easy for the boat.